Okay, I forgot one more thing to be real, real about today. And also to give encouragement, amen? Because God wants you to be encouraged. And so the other real, real that I totally forgot is about ministers and ministries that do conspiracy theory. Now, it doesn't mean things aren't going on. It does not mean that things aren't going on. Things are going on. But again, I want to point you to Isaiah 8, 11 through 15. Do not call, do, do not agree with those in conspiracy that the hand of the Lord came upon me and he said, do not call conspiracy what these people call conspiracy because it will cause people to fear man and they will not fear God. Do not cause people to be in fear or dread. And it even goes on to say in Isaiah eleven fifteen that God will take people away that continue in this manner. And so there have been ministers that have prematurely been taken out of this earth that would not stop speaking about conspiracy. And I've been warning about this for a year now, well, for years, but especially with Isaiah 8. Hey, good morning. Isaiah 8, 11 through 15. I'm telling you, saints, if y'all are listening to these ministers that are talking about conspiracies, I'm telling you, you're playing with fire. And some of them are passing away and they're dying and they're saying it. Satan has done it. Oh, well, Satan has uh, been involved because people have been in rebellion and they have majored on conspiracies. That's the, sec that's the next thing about being real real. And the last thing is encouragement, okay? I do want to encourage you. Saints, there is a push through anointing. What is that called? It's called Perez. When you look at the breakthrough that came to Tamar, that was the mother of Perez and Zerah, and she was, oh my goodness, this is so powerful. She was publicly shamed, what I just talked about. And she was called attention seeking. She was called a whore, okay? Oh my goodness, I can't believe God's bringing all this up today. But I've got a couple of teachings on YouTube about it. And it's called the righteous anointing, Tamar. The righteous anointing. And it is the mother of Zerah and Perez. And you have to understand Perez means breakthrough to push through. And Zerah means light. And saints, there is a pushing through right now to see the light of promise that God has for you. And God wants you to be encouraged. And let me just tell you what I do for leverage. What does that mean? Momentum. <laughs> momentum and so what I use for momentum is I get mad enough at the devil if he keeps hitting me hitting my family hitting people that I care about and love I am going to get my gloves on in the spirit and I'm gonna get angry and let me just give you an example what was it about three years ago? I posted this on Facebook. Three years ago, there was this man, and it's actually in this area right here, right behind me, at this park. This is a second park, right here at this exact area. Okay, and it's so funny that I'm right here. It's not funny, but it's God that I'm here right now. And so it was at this area right here three years ago. I saw this man publicly, and here's it again. Here's it again. Publicly screaming at the top of his lungs at a woman, calling her all these horrible things. And I went up to him and I said, you're not gonna talk to this woman like this. And he of course started coming at me while I was walking away. And then I turned around and I charged back at him. I am not scared. When there's a boldness of God on me, I am not scared. 
and I am going to charge you, okay? It's just a righteous indignation in me, and especially a man bullying a woman. Oh yeah, it is on. It is on. Just like what I talked about happened a couple of weeks ago when Amazon delivered a package at night and God told me to go down there and get the package. And it was actually two women and a little girl in the truck, in the Amazon truck. She probably brought a friend because she was scared and it might've been the friend's daughter or her daughter. So those two women and the little girl were in the Amazon truck. They didn't know anything about delivering these packages. And I went down there, Rich was still eating. And this man started just going off on this woman in the truck that was in another vehicle by herself and then going off on me and the two women and the little girl in the Amazon truck. And he was saying all kinds of satanic stuff. And I went over there and rebuked him and he started coming at me and saying stuff. Well, oh buddy, it is on, it is on. I went over there and charged him and started rebuking him and then went upstairs to grab my phone and call 911. And Rich came out and Rich heard the commotion outside and he was coming out to confront the man. And I'd already told the man, run devil in Jesus name, run, get out of here. And he ran. Well, let me get back to what happened three years ago at that park that I just showed you. And so at that park, that man was screaming at that woman, just screaming at the top of his lungs, intimidating her, threatening her, shaming her. And I came against him. Then another woman showed up walking and she stood there and walked over there. And she said she wasn't gonna put up with it. Then a third woman that has two pit bulls, Molly, she came over there and she said, Oh, I know kickboxing. It is on if this man persists. So we had three women over there ready to protect this other woman. And finally he went off and we got the woman that needed help. Thank God. And I've been in an abusive marriage nine months to the Prince of Darkness pretty much. So I know what it can do to a person. And you know what, men are in abusive relationships too. It's not just women. And if you are, run, get out of it. Okay, so the encouragement for you today is you know what? That's what the devil's trying to do to you. He is trying to bully you. Just like that man that I talked about, those two men, that one screaming a couple of weeks ago on the sidewalk. <laughs> And I love how Matthew did a video years ago and it's still on YouTube. I'll see if I can find it where he teaches you how to say, how to bark like a dog. And he said, you have to say cross, cross, gross. And you have to do it with an open mouth, cross. Well, that's what it is. All bark and no bite. And it reminds me when I was walking in 2013, and there's this massive dog in the neighborhood, massive dog, not on a leash and no one was out, but just this dog. And it reminds me how that dog came charging at me and was barking. Well, guess what I did? I ran straight towards that dog and I was letting that dog know, I am not running away. I am running towards you, buddy. And as soon as I did, that dog ran away. Some of y'all need to have a charge in you. Where is that in scripture? Oh, let me tell you where it is. Job 39, the war horse. That when the war horse hears the sound of the trumpet, he paws in the ground and he is ready to charge into battle. Saints, that needs to be you. You charge into battle and be bold <laughs> and use that leverage of anger to righteousness for a righteous cause. Amen. God bless you. I love you and I'll see you later.